Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to spend some time with John Stratton's article, Zombie Trouble, Zombie Texts, Bear Life, and Displaced People. I'm going to do that for two reasons. The first is that we're going to read selections from it, first of all, and I'll indicate those selections in the assignment. Uh, but the first part we're going to read is called The Popularity of Zombies, and it's going to be a really good portion of the essay for us to read near the end of this course because one of the things that Stratton is trying to do is explain the popularity of zombies um, in a way that makes sense from a you know beginning of the 21st century perspective. This article comes out in 2011, relatively recently, and what he will be doing is tracing the zombie as we have traced the zombie from its origins in uh, voodoo and Haiti and early representations like White Zombie and Revolt of the Zombies up to Shaun of the Dead. There's an extended section in here on Shaun of the Dead or at least multiple references to Shaun of the Dead, the most recent film that we have watched in this course. So he's going to take us in that first section um, on this journey through the history of the zombie and we can ask ourselves whether or not we agree with his statements because we're all pretty well informed at this point being experts at least in zombie films and in essays on zombies and we've written and thought a lot about zombies during our time together this semester but the other thing Stratton is going to start doing is talking about zombies in a way that is really appropriate for this week um, he's going to be thinking about this concept that um, for some uh, European filmmakers, um, there's a sense that zombies are used in films to represent the fear of immigrant communities, displaced people. Now, if we think back in terms of the American experience, we've seen this in really interesting ways, going all the way back to Gibbons' articles, week and weeks and weeks ago, excuse me, but we had this idea that in the early American scene, there was this effort to other the native population and immigrant communities that were coming in, the Irish in particular, as we saw in that piece. Well, what we're going to see is that the same thing is essentially going on, or a very similar thing is going on in present day England. And we get that sense in Shaun of the Dead, as Stratton will argue, the zombies are represented as displaced people, immigrant people, migrants who are coming into England. Now, I don't know if I buy this argument 100%, but it's an interesting way to think about the film. And if you go back and ask yourself, who is a zombie? Where do the zombies come from? Are these displaced people? Uh, you can come to your own conclusion about whether or not you agree with Stratton. But I would have us read this this week because if you've been following the news, you know that there's a very significant vote happening this week for England as the people of England determine whether or not they want to remain part of the European Union. Now there's a lot of arguments around this both for and against seceding from the European Union, but one of the arguments has to do with fear of immigrant society and immigrant populations and displaced people moving into England. Um, so much so that we've seen a tragedy this week in which there was a murder and the murderer used this anxiety to justify his murder of an elected member to parliament uh, in England. So it's a really hot topic at the moment. And Stratton's article is interesting because one of the things that it does is it, it aligns the, the, the modern day zombie, at least in terms of a film like Shaun of the Dead, with this fear of immigrant communities in England coming in from other parts of Europe. Now this is an anxiety that we haven't thought much about or talked much about in this class simply because it hasn't been all that significant in terms of our discussions to these zombie films we've been watching so far this term. And as we've been thinking about zombies as an extension or development of the gothic imagination in the United States. All right, and we thought about that for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, really the first three weeks of this class were largely taken up with that idea. But now what we're starting to get, I think, is a sense of the zombie as a global phenomenon and how does the zombie start to change when we think about it as a global phenomenon. Well, it's not that we're going to be abandoning Amer American stories anytime soon. In fact, as soon as we get into Cabin, uh, Cabin in the Woods and The Walking Dead and I, Zombie, we will be decidedly back in an American context. But one of the great things about 
Shaun of the Dead, one of the great things about Stratton's article is that it tries to connect the modern day zombie film with this fear of invading, invading, excuse me, forces coming from elsewhere that have the capacity to change society. And as Gibbons told us at the very beginning of this class, you know, that is one of the key early Gothic concerns for storytellers in the United States. And so it has been a prime staple for Gothic storytelling. So one of the interesting things here is that the implication of Stratton's article seems to be that when you have displaced people, when you have populations that are kind of unmoored and sent wandering around the globe, as has been the case, for example, with Syria over the past, you know, the recent history, certainly, but a lot of debate about, about the Syrian refugees recently, it creates this context that is ripe for Gothic storytelling, or at least this ongoing concern with people who, for reasons that may not be justified at all, are scared of displaced populations, displaced people, things like that. So that's going to be one way for us to think about Shaun of the Dead. So, so Stratton's article is going to have us revisit Shaun of the Dead, think about what we saw in Shaun of the Dead, and then also come to some conclusions about how Shaun of the Dead either fits or does not fit into the kind of broader scope of this class as we think about whether or not these early American concerns are now perhaps global concerns or at least are concerns for England and other parts of Europe. You know, when we saw Vengeance of the Zombies, it would be very easy to argue, and we haven't talked much about this yet, but in Vengeance of the Zombies, you know, what do we see? Well, we have a European film that dis certainly looks at the immigrant, um, uh, the visitor, the guru, right, and all of his trappings as a source of horror. So there's this sense that there's another uh, cultural uh, concern kind of moving in, right, um, uh, to the West, and we should fear it. It's a danger to us. It will give rise to zombies. Well, when we think about the zombie story in the U.S., what we remember is that in the early days, it was always our heroes, heroes there in air quotes, or uh, scare quotes is maybe a better term there, um, who are visiting other parts of the world and encountering the zombies. But then we get this period where the zombie starts to show up in the U.S., and who is he? He's an invading European male. It's all those early Bela Lugosi films that we watched. And we watched film after film after film where the cause and concern for the zombie horror was the invading European. Invading there is maybe not the exact right word, but the idea is that somehow normal American society was being disturbed by an immigrant force, and that gives rise to the zombie threat. Stratton's reading of Shaun of the Dead, a film that's significantly not produced, right, uh, for an American audience, or initially it's, it's, a, it's a film out of England, um, seems to be perhaps leading us in the same direction in terms of its broader commentary on immigration. So here again, we see the ongoing relevance of the fear of immigrant communities to the zombie film. Now, importantly, it's not the only fear, right? And this goes back to this idea that the zombie is something like, like tofu uh, in the sense that it absorbs the cultural concerns of any given era. Although what we can see in this class is that there are certain um, fears, certain anxieties that seem to recur in society and the zombie seems to always be there ready and willing to soak those fears up and represent them on screen at least, as well as in other media that we haven't looked at in this course. So I find that to be a fascinating concept. I find it to be a fascinating article to read, particularly this week, where the vote will be happening on the 23rd, I believe, which will lead us into our last day uh, of this course, as it is currently scheduled. Um, so it's timely. And that's one of the reasons why I want to work a Stratton's article today. It's also timely because of its comments on... Shaun of the Dead, which we've just completed. Along the way, he'll make reference to some other films that we haven't watched yet, Fido, for example, being one. And that's fine. He does a very good job along the way of summarizing the films that he's talking about so that his comments, that his, cl his claims and his arguments are understandable. Okay, But I would direct you to that, uh, and I'd have you think a little bit about that as we go through this today, and then I'm going to have you respond to the article uh, with a writing prompt. 
Um, so, so there we go. All right, so what I will do beneath this video is I'll indicate the sections that I want you to read. Essentially, I'm going to have you read the popularity of zombies and zombies and the displaced, uh, which are two sections uh, from a larger article that we'll be working with. Okay, so again, um, in order to keep things kind of time balanced, I'll keep this lecture a little bit shorter um, so that um, uh, I'm not overwhelming you with that. And let me know if there are any questions or concerns.